and welcome to Cooking Classic. I'm Kathy Coslett, and I think you know this guy. He's been around here quite a bit in the Cooking Classic kitchen. Hello there. How are you tonight? I'm terrific, Chef. This is Chef Jay Kisney, for those of you who haven't met him. He joins us to share a recipe that's really special to him. But before we get to that, I'd really like to talk a little bit about what life is like as a corporate executive chef. How is that different from the other chefs that we've met? Well, I think uh, a lot of the other chefs, uh, you know, you work in holidays, you work in evenings. Mm -hmm. It's a different environment. I'm pretty much a Monday to Friday guy. Uh, I have a great test kitchen. Okay. And, and that's the majority of what I do. I work with uh, the customers that buy food from us. You know, I work for Maine's Paper and Food Service. We're a broadline distributor. So what uh, does that mean, you're a broadline distributor? We distribute everything, you know, produce, uh, paper goods, meats, uh, the whole variety. It's kind of one-stop okay. shopping. So the test kitchen is you actually test recipes and, and, and meats and exactly. poultry or whatever exactly. for customers. Uh, you know, I do a lot of research. I'm looking at what mm -hmm. are the trends nationwide. I travel a lot and I see yeah, what, you do, what's happening, you? Out the, you know, happening out there. Uh, so I'll bring that back and introduce it to our customers. Uh, I'm kind of a resource for them okay. almost as a consultant. It's really interesting and it really is another option for lots of people out there thinking of culinary, oh, it, correct? It, it, and it's kind of a, a gradual stop that you mm -hmm. get to. You okay. know, you're not going to be in that position coming out of a culinary school. Okay. You got to kind of do your time. All right. Now, Let's get back to why, why you are really here, and that's to share that really special recipe, and that's Italian Easter pie. Why is that so special? Oh, you know, it's, uh, it, it brings me back to my childhood. Um, you know, I, I grew up in a town and the railroad tracks separated the town. Mm -hmm. If you were below the tracks, you were Tuscan Italian. <laughs> if you lived above the tracks, you were Polish or Russian mm -hmm. or Slovak. I lived above the tracks. <laughs> I was a big husky kid. I used to eat my way home every day. So <laughs> That's because of all those Italian families on the way, right? The Italian uh, <laughs> moms kind of adopted me along okay. the way. So uh, this dish was something that they would do uh, at Easter time. It was uh, kind of a celebration that Lent was over. Okay. And uh, they normally would make it on Good Friday, but would not eat it until Saturday. Okay. Um, With lots of recipes, though, that's, that's really better, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It gives all those flavors a chance to... <clears throat> Definitely. Uh, you know, it gets to kind of marriage all the right. flavoring. Okay. Um, so, you know, I loved it, but if I wanted it, I had to go on the other side of the tracks. I couldn't <laughs> get it on the upper side. Uh, so um, I learned to make that That's dish. impressive, though, yeah. that you learned to do that. And um, it's, it's one of my favorites. Um, okay. And I usually only make it. Once, Once a, a year. year. <laughs> you know, uh, Is that kind of a penance, maybe? They make it on Friday, but they can't eat it until Saturday? Well, uh, yeah, you know, and, and <laughs> I, I think, uh, I, I remember growing up, even in my house, you know, they always would do the kielbasa on Friday and, and cook the ham, and it just was there on the table, the table. but you couldn't eat it. Oh. You know, it was, it was kind of, you did your 40 days, and you have another day or two here before you could really dig into it. But look what's it. waiting yeah, for you. Yep, that was the, the pot of gold at the end. You got it, and it's waiting for us in our kitchen here at Cooking Classic. We'll be back right after this. Hi, I'm Holly, a student from Luzerne County Community College with your culinary tip of the day. I'm going to show you how to dice an onion. First, you cut the onion in half. Next, we peel the outer layer. Lay it on its side and make four cuts, vertical cuts. This would be for a larger dice. Next, I'm going to cut parallel with the cutting board five or six or more cuts straight down and let the end fall away. Always remember to use a sharp knife as it makes your work easier. This is your culinary tip of the day. Bon appetit!
Thanks for staying with us. For those of you who are just joining us, I'm Kathy Coslett. This is corporate executive chef Jake Kisney, and we're about to make one of his favorite recipes, Italian Easter pie. Mm -hmm. And he's going to put me to work tonight. Absolutely, because okay. last time I was here, you weren't doing anything. <laughs> You're going to work tonight. All I was doing was moving his ingredients all around and, and irritating him. So, so we're going to make the dough. You're going to make the dough. I'm going to make the dough. So we're taking some yeast. Okay. And we're going to incorporate it in the water and stir it. Okay. Oops. What about that part? No. And uh, I warned you about me. <laughs> we're just going to let that sit now. Okay. And, and the yeast will start to kind of work. Okay. Um, so we could kind of move that on the side. All right. And, and just give it a minute, maybe okay. possibly uh, at that point. Once it sits, mm -hmm. a little tip, a lot of times people start off and they put all their dry ingredients. Right. And then when you add the water, it kind of cakes on the bottom. We're going to start and we're going to add our liquid oh, first. Oh, that's really a mm -hmm. good tip. Good so to you know. can put the liquid in. Okay, here we go. Whoops, they're not, not off to a good start, am I? <laughs> okay. Okay. And now you're are. going to do three and a quarter cups of flour. Mm -hmm. Just put all three and a quarter in right now. Put it now. right in. Mm -hmm. Not fast enough for you, am I? You're doing great. He's saying, You're doing he's saying great. don't hire her, anyone. <laughs> three and a quarter. Yep. How's that? Excellent. All right, we got it. Okay, put that on the side. We're going to add either butter or lard. I use butter in this this case. Can you still get lard? I think I see it every once in a while you in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. So why do you um, use butter um, and, as opposed to lard? I bet those uh, ladies uh, used lard. They did, they did use lard and uh, unfortunately I only had butter today. <laughs> oh, so all right. that's why so we're you using. you usually use yeah. lard. Yes. Okay. And that is salt and pepper. Okay. We're going to add About that. how much salt and pepper? There's uh, probably maybe a quarter teaspoon of each. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. Not so and much. Now you're going to crank the handle to bring it up. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Lock it. Lock it. Two clicks. Two clicks. And For how long? Ideally about five minutes. Okay. Okay. Because what it'll do, it's going to form a ball mm -hmm. and then it's going to start to knead it. So if you don't have this machine, uh -huh. you could just do this in a mixing bowl and you got to work hand. your hands and do it by okay. hand like they did in the old days. So you can see it started yes. to work into a ball, mm -hmm. and uh, this will happen for about five minutes, Okay. And, and it works everything. So at this point, you could shut it off, okay, Okay. and just kind of work it a little bit mm -hmm. to form it into a ball, Okay. and then we'll put it in a pan, and you're going to cover, cover it, it, and let it rise until it doubles in size. Okay. So usually you kind of put it about somewhere. About how long? Eh, it's going to take about an hour. Okay. So usually you would take this and maybe put it on top of your oven, somewhere where it's warm, uh, so it could kind of grow. Okay. Okay. And so what? while that's happening, um, then we could do the ingredients. All right. Uh, for the filling. Okay. So you want to tell us about what you brought? Sure. Okay. What's in this Easter In pie? this pie, it's Similar to a quiche, okay. but it's not as eggy as a quiche. So we have ricotta cheese, my some favorite. mozzarella, salt and pepper, some heavy, heavy cream, cream, eggs, cooked some sausage off and, and crumbled it. And where did you get that? I already tasted that sausage. It, it's, it's really good. It's <laughs> from Rochester, and I know you, you were <laughs> nibbling at it, so we so, got the stamp of approval yeah, and early so on. So the pie does, isn't as sausagey as you would like. It's my fault. Um, I have some capicola ham. Mm, that's good. And I have some supasad, which is kind of a cured salami. It, it, is the fat content a lot higher in that than salami? There's a, there's a lot of fat. It looks it. Yeah. And that's what makes it good. You know, when you cook, it's salt, sugar, mm. and fat. You take those away, and it's kind of boring. That's why, it, that's why it tastes so good. How else would you eat that, though? I know people that used to make that. They would have sort of like this big party thing going on, and then all the super sods were hanging from the ceiling. But would you eat it with cheese or oh, something? Sure. This, is, this is great. Um, 
you know, and that's what, what happened in Old World. Mm -hmm. It was a way to cure it and keep it. Okay. And they would slice it like almost like a deli meat. All and right. you could have a nice block of sharp uh, Asiago cheese or mm -hmm. something and a glass of wine. There you go. And some homemade bread. You know, and, and, <laughs> or Italian Easter pie yeah. on Saturday, not Friday. Exactly. Okay. So uh, we have that. And then there's some parsley, flat leaf, mm -hmm. some green onion, some hard boiled eggs, and uh, grated Parmesan cheese. Okay. That's interesting. Two regular eggs and four, was right. it hard boiled? So the regular eggs is going to bind everything. Okay. And the hard boiled eggs are kind of for texture. Okay. Um, and again, you'll see pies out there that may only have ham and eggs, mm -hmm. no eggs, just ham. Everyone had their own little spin on it. Okay. So this was kind of my creation where I stole so the, bits from everyone. So the family competition was on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you want to roll out the dough, actually, or do you want to put it in the pan before? Or do you want to do that, take a little break and come back? I, do you think, want to do uh, that? I think what we could do is take a break, and when we come back, we'll do the filling and then roll the dough up. Okay, I love to make him think it's his kitchen, so because Chef Hisney says so, we're going to take a break. We'll see you in a moment. All right, let's go. Make it happen at Luzerne County Community College. We are back and we're about ready to mix the ingredients for our Italian Easter pie. What do you like to put in here first? So I'm going to start off with uh, the ricotta cheese. We'll do the mozzarella salt and pepper. I'm just going to add two eggs and then I'm going to start to mix this just to kind of get everything working. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like fun. It is fun. Yeah. It's like making mud pies from when I was a little kid. <laughs> this is all about his youth tonight. <laughs> okay, so then at this point I have it worked a little bit. Now I'll start adding all the other ingredients. So. I'll put uh, the meats in. Okay, so we just did sausage, sausage capicola, uh, capicola ham, the soup super sauce. Okay, in the same way. I'm gonna All right, and tell us again, what if we don't want to use those meats, what else can we use? You could use prosciutto, you could use salami. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it's really up to you. If you want to do chicken, I'm sure you could okay. grill chicken off or, okay. and, and add it into it. It's, uh, you know, there, there's no really... Mm -hmm. A set rule and, and that's the same thing with any recipe mm -hmm. if you get a recipe and you look at it and there's garlic and you can't have garlic you take it out take it. you like garlic you add more garlic yeah. recipes are really just a guide okay. okay so we're doing pretty good here on the filling I'm gonna add the chopped parsley all right now somebody asked earlier do you really put all these dishes out all the time that's really important isn't it to have all your ingredients it may not be in dishes. If you're doing it at home, uh -huh. ideally, sure. If you, if you have the dishes or get a sheet pan okay. and kind of put all your ingredients okay. there. And the idea is, especially when you're cooking, mm -hmm. you're, you're cooking in stages. Mm -hmm. So if you start to cook and you don't have an ingredient, well, whatever you're cooking is- You have to leave, sit you there leave and cook. to go get it. So you want to get everything ready and then you're just going to cook. It makes it so it might take a few more minutes to get everything out and in order in its place, but in the end, it's going to save you time and you're probably going to have a better result. Absolutely. Okay, got Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay. So we got the parsley. We have some green onions. All right. Too. Okay. And basically everything else goes in that. The eggs. <laughs> and the big thing is, uh, you know, this is a really nice uh, quality um, parmesan. Parmesan. And as you can see, this is it looks very, very dry <laughs> mm -hmm. compared to a, a typical a quiche. quiche. So um, I just kind of work it like that. And okay. this is ready to go into the, uh, the 
the dough, okay? Okay. So we could kind of just set this set on the this side. Over there. And we are ready to do the dough. Okay. Now this this dough is not a typical pie dough. It's not going to be flaky. Um, it's going to be more like a stromboli type dough, mm -hmm. okay? So when this bakes, it's going to rise up like a quiche. And then when you take it out of the oven, it's going to go back down. It's going to fall back down. So when you look in the oven and you go, oh, it, it's really doing what it should All do. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we have the pie shell. We're just going to kind of put that there. All right. What a, let's take a break. And when we come back, we're going to roll that out, put it in the pan and fill it. And we'll be on our way. See you in a few. Are you looking for a college that's right for you? Luzerne County Community College has more than 100 majors to choose from, convenient class times, and many online courses. Transfer your degree and continue your education at a four-year college. Work with modern equipment found in the professional world, all at the area's lowest tuition. Make it happen at Luzerne County Community College. Glad you're back because we're coming into the home stretch. Chef Jake's about ready to roll the dough and get that pie together. <laughs> okay, so this is the dough that we had before we put on the side, and it kind of doubled in size. So we're going to take it out of the bowl, and we're going to throw a little bit of flour here on our, our workspace. Mm -hmm. And we're actually going to cut this dough in half because we need two crusts, a top and, and, a, and a bottom. bottom. So we'll just let that All one right. rest there. And um, we're just going to kind of work this a little bit, and I make it round, so it makes it easier to, to get, roll okay. round. And don't overdo that, no. right? We always hear that. Don't overdo it, don't overdo it. So this is basically almost... So that looks pretty puffy. Yeah. There's almost a lot like of air a, in there. a pizza dough yeah. type thing. Uh, and if I was good, which I'm not, you could probably spin this like pizza. <laughs> Well, that I think, does that tend to be a little harder to roll out when it's like that? Well, it, there's a lot of, as you roll, it kind of springs yeah, back. Yeah, it keeps coming back at you. So you need to, uh, you know, you start out slow and mm -hmm. then obviously you're going to put more pressure until we get it the size that we need. So what happens with that when it's in there baking? Do you have to, is there anything special that you have to do to get it not to start coming back in the pie plate? No. It, no? Once, once you get it in there, and it's, it's going to kind of stay okay. where it needs to because stay. Because this is going to hold it down. You're going to seal the right. edges. And then we'll seal it. Okay. So usually what I do is a little trick to make sure I know that it's big the enough. The right size. I there kinda you go. check it out that way. So it's pretty good. We'll give it a little bit here more roll because it kind of, okay. it did that stretch back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then at that point, we're just going to kind of... This is the part I want to see. Here we go. All right. Oh, that's, that's great. And you kind of work it in with your hands. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have to roll So the there's a lot one. of extra. We're just going to leave that there for now. Okay. Okay? We're going to put that on the side, and we're going to roll, roll the, the other one. The other one. Okay. So we're just going to roll this. Okay and kind of put yeah, it Yeah, I it. noticed you made that one a little bit larger. Is that yep. because it has to sit well, it's while we fill? fill over. Okay. So now, let me find my gloves Your gloves. Again. Okay. We're going to fill it. And here we go. The moment we've been waiting for. Yeah, right. So you are pushing it I'm down, pushing down, it down. down. Mm-hmm. So about how many of these pies would the, would the families make, do you think? Well... Because they shared, too, they, correct, they with their do, neighbors. It wasn't just... They do share. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if it was a large family, they might have two or three pies. Mm -hmm. You are not going to eat a lot of this pie. Yeah, I can it, tell it's, it's pretty heavy, isn't it's it? It's pretty heavy. It's rich. So the slices uh, were, were pretty 
small. So now we're ready to put the top coat on. It's and a top coat. <laughs> yeah, right? So there it is, right? We put it on the top. I kind of do a little press like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you can take this. Some people will do this. I don't do it all the time, but they, they're going to brush the sides. Oh, to help it. To seal. Seal. With just a little bit. This is an egg with water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this is interesting because it really is, it is, like you said, very dry. And then you add the, the dough to it. Right. And... We'll seal this side a little bit. When you were looking up how to make this, did you see any of the history of it, like how this really came about? Um, was it more because these were the ingredients that were available and I people then were so good at just... Using what they had, yeah. you know? And uh, it, it definitely started, um, it, you know, they brought it from Italy with them, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, and then all the different versions happened. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to do any of that folding over, twisting thing like you do with a pie? Okay. You will. I have to, he's going to tell me again. Take it easy. We'll get there. Okay. There you go. So that's all the trim. At this point. And this feels nice. Yeah. This is a nice mm -hmm. dough. Mm -hmm. um, so, and then if you have little kids, they could practice with all your scraps how to make things. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you can tell he's done that before. Yeah. So at this point, then I'm just going to do my crimp. Okay. And I kind of do this Thumbs. way. Everyone does it differently. That looks very nice. Yeah. What were the names of some of the people that lived in your neighborhood? Do you remember? Yeah, I had uh, the Franconis <laughs> would make this. Uh, Lupri's, the Milani's. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. They would be so proud. <laughs> so, I hope if any, of, if any of those people are watching, get in touch with us here at Cooking Classic. <laughs> yeah, right? That would be outstanding. And just as you would with any pie that you're mm -hmm. going to make, we need to put a little oh. vent in it. Okay. To let the steam out. So you could kind of just cut a hole. I usually take one button. out. Yeah. And then I'll do a couple just stabs. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty neat that these people had such an, you know, they made such an impression upon you that yeah. you've taken this with you a couple years ago, you thinking know, about them and then recreated absolutely. a piece of your you know, childhood. On the side of the tracks where I grew up, we did a traditional dish called mm -hmm. Siddiq, which was like an Easter uh -huh. cheese, but that'll be another That'll show. be another show? <laughs> yeah, another show. Okay. So at this point... We're ready to put it in the oven. And what, what, what's the oven set the at The oven again? is set at 375, 375, and it's going to take about 40 minutes. All right, and this is not on convection. This, this is, is regular. Not. Regular oven. Regular oven. And, you know, your oven, it may take 10 minutes more mm -hmm. because all ovens work a little bit. Okay. So we got to give it some time to cook. Is there any way to tell when you think it's really done? Is it really the color of the crust? Or? The crust is going to be nice and brown. Okay. And when you look in, it's going to, again, look like that souffle. <laughs> Teasing you. It's yes. not going to look like that when yeah. it comes out. And then you pull it out and just let it cool down. This could be served warm or mm -hmm. cold. All right. Okay, so uh, it gives you a lot of options there. All right. That's kind of the, like almost the late night pizza. You could go <laughs> there you go, cold out. pizza yeah. breakfast too. All right, we'll be back right after this, and we're going to take that Easter pie out of the oven and share it with you. See you in a minute.
looking for a college that's right for you? Luzerne County Community College has more than 100 majors to choose from, convenient class times, and many online courses. Transfer your degree and continue your education at a four-year college. Work with modern equipment found in the professional world, all at the area's lowest tuition. Make it happen at Luzerne County Community College. Milani's, if you're watching, this is it. This is what you taught him as a child. The moment we've been waiting for, Italian Easter pie. Yeah. Didn't that come out beautiful? It really did. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, nice brown color. Yeah, look at that. You know, uh, it, it, it's a great dish. And it is pretty heavy too, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah. yeah, it is heavy. So I'm gonna make some slices here. Okay. Uh, how they would kind of serve it. So I would think because of the dry ingredients and everything that this probably isn't as hard to get out of the pie pan as a regular pie right. would be, right? Because things pretty much stay together. We're hoping. Yeah, they are. The first I, one's I, always I trust the toughest. You. It is, isn't it? <laughs> you want to take this one off? Okay? No, that's quite all right. <laughs> You're the certified executive chef. <laughs> You're my sous chef. <laughs> there you go. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Incredible. You know, so it's kind of a almost a stromboli type mm -hmm. uh, texture to it. And I've actually, I have seen it made into strombolis. Okay. The, the individuals I bet that, that would be really good. And it even looks um, spring-like, mm -hmm. you know, it's very festive. Oh yeah, you have great coloring mm -hmm. in it. Um, and that's it. You yeah. do know I'm going to steal a piece in a second. But before I do that, I have to say thank you for sharing that with oh, us. Thank you welcome. very much. Yeah. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Cooking Classic.